please join us in singing Rise Up, O Men of God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you have blessed us beyond measure. Today is not merely a celebration of our achievements, but rather it is a celebration of your mighty hand in our lives. I thank you for the faculty, our friends, and our families who have pushed us to become men of truth and honor. Lord, I pray that we would use the values instilled in us at MUS in order to be salt in a tasteless world and light in the darkness. I pray that we would leave here walking in your likeness, remembering that today is not the finish line, but the starting line. Lord, help us to act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with you as we move into the next chapter of our lives. And above all, I thank you for the, for the presence of your matchless grace in our lives. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Greetings to all assembled, students and parents, family and friends, faculty, and Mr. Haywood. Please be seated. <laughs> Thank you all for being here today. We gather together to bid farewell to the graduating class, Memphis University School's class of 2014. This is a time of ends and beginnings, of concluding our life at MUS, and of starting our adventure of college in just a few short months. Many of us have spent the past six years here together, sharing classes and extracurriculars, life lessons, and the endless progressions of Monday morning announcements for both athletic and mental competitions, and the programming club. <laughs> Others have joined our group relatively recently, but they too are part of the treasured MUS community. This is also a time of joy and sadness. The excitement of adventure and good prospects to come, and for our parents, the sadness that will manifest as we leave the nest or ecstatic jubilation, as the case may be. <laughs> We've had our good times and our not-so-good times, from hearing Mr. Large roaming the halls, repeating his African swallow lines to all and sundry, to listening to Mr. Perkins's Russia trip stories. We have some amazing athletes and exceptional artists, and some of the best and brightest minds that I may ever know. We've won the state Latin convention for the past seven years, with a really big percentage of points scored over the past five by this one class. And the school will be getting an awesome chariot, as long as it doesn't fall apart, that is, again. We've also started the robotics program and have made a couple of fantastic robots these past two years. It was principally the leadership of our class because no seniors last year decided to get involved. This year, the theater produced my favorite play that has ever been staged at MUS, and I'm sure the most entertaining in recent memory. 
we've had amazing displays with student organizations, and we are leaving the administration of FBLA, excuse me, step, in good hands for next year. Same with the programming club, as I'm sure you'll be pleased to know. However, we may be most recognized in our legacy as the class that started Ching's Wings for lunch. What will remain with us from our years at MUS are the relationships that we have developed with each other and our teachers. Now, I would like to mention some teachers who I believe have especially affected my outlook and have introduced me to influential ideas and ways of thinking. I have to thank Mr. Murphy, Mrs. Askew, Mrs. Lawrence, and Mr. Beatty for their support and enthusiasm for a still shell-shocked seventh grader daunted by a grade size more than triple what he was previously used to. I also should thank Mr. Shelton and Mr. Thompson, even though it was painful at the time, for making sure I memorized more than enough grammar rules to ensure that I get annoyed every time I see the college board make an, an, an unintentional mistake in an English section. Thanks to Mr. Large for his words of wisdom. And I know that if I ever want shoes thrown out the window, as an example to sleepy 10th graders of the sugar smuggling activities of colonial America, then he's the one I'll ask. And if I ever want help on writing a speech, I know I can always go to Mr. Large and Mr. Reese for suggestions on how to incorporate many a PG Woodhouse quotation for general amusement as with the following advice from the amateur dictator Spode. Nothing stands between us and our victory except defeat. Tomorrow is a new day. The future lies ahead. Of course, Mr. McLean will be right beside them, urging me not to follow their advice, <laughs> and then giving me a life lesson on how we need to re-energize the thirst for adventure in modern society. Mr. Perkins impressed me with his dry humor, and I may always envision Lennon as having Mr. Perkins's likeness, as he, accounted the the, as he accounted the similarity many a time. Mr. Stahls and Mr. Loden, thank you both for your efforts with building a robotics team and enabling us students to get a taste of what it's like to see such an involved project through from beginning to end. And I must thank Dr. Gadwal, Mrs. Gates, and Mr. Mullins for their enthusiasm for their subjects, their ability to motivate their students to really be involved in the subjects at hand, and their willingness to go above and beyond their duties as teachers and offer extra lessons and support whenever we need it. Many other teachers have influenced me, and there are also many teachers whom I did not get to enjoy personally, but who touched the lives of my classmates. I would like to thank all faculty, administrators, and staff at MUS. And as you all leave for your future lives, please keep these few words of advice in mind. You will be exposed to many new ideas and experiences. Figure out what subjects motivate you and pursue them. Find your passions and follow them, and don't get stuck in some track or profession you dislike only because it pays well you will find some way to make everything work out satisfactorily. In summation, we have had a good run, and I do believe that we, the class of 2014, deserve the title of one of the best classes in MUS history, if not the best, Mr. Murphy. Thank you.
find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Let it be. Welcome and congratulations, class of 2014. You know, hearing 2014 year after year gets pretty old. So why don't we call ourselves the class of two times 19 times 53? <laughs> Aditya can verify the value of that product. If that math was too complex for you, Mr. Thompson, you can just call us the best class ever. Although I joke about Mr. Thompson's computational skills, the class of 2014 really has accomplished a great deal during our time at MUS. For many of us, the journey began in the lower school, where all of our activities were done under the careful guidance of the all-powerful assignment book. We diligently recorded our assigned homework in it each week or faced the wrath of Mr. Smythe. Did anyone even buy one this year? When we were not busy writing in the book, we were competing in a host of activities. Math counts, science Olympiad, model UN, football, basketball, swimming, golf, soccer, tennis, you name it. And we dominated in them all, winning multiple state titles. Led by Salmon's prodigious skill in the classics, we continued our victorious streak at Latin convention that culminated this year in our seventh straight win beating the six straight win record set by MUS in the 1990s. We played an absolutely integral part in the redesign of the library by carrying the masses of fiction books downstairs. <laughs> we had our struggles. Two run-on sentences spelled certain death on a paper. But we left the lower school with a host of achievements under our belts. Many new faces joined us as we entered the upper school. There were some new activities, including quiz bowl and mock trial, but our performance in them remained the same. We reached the football state championships two times in the past two years, 
and we won the fencing state title for the third year in a row. The swimming team placed second in the state meet, and the golf team won the state championships this year. Just yesterday, the lacrosse team defeated Macaulay for the state title and for the four-peat. Our academic performance was top-notch as well. Our class's average GPA is an impressive 3.737, and as a class, we received 326 different scholarships with more than $12 million in scholarship money. And that includes only what we reported to BK after his temporary closure of the senior lounge four-star hand. <laughs> We performed admirably in the fine arts with both the theater and Beck to Differ winning multiple awards. Although our true purpose for attending the multiple future Business Leaders of America meetings was the donuts, etc., we were promised, we somehow managed to win multiple events that no one actually prepared for. <laughs> Even something as simple as our homecoming t-shirts have come far, progressing from the homecoming basketball t-shirt to shirts filled with Stephen's amazing artwork. We face new challenges in the upper school as well, including the dreaded razor in Coach Counts' office, the most jarring speed bump I've ever encountered on the west side of the gym, <laughs> and the foreboding specter of a research paper on the meaning of the wilderness that no one really understood. <laughs> Nevertheless, we pushed through it all, and every single one of us contributed to our great successes. None of this would have been possible without the help and support of many. Our parents have supported us and gifted us with an MUS education, and we often do not appreciate what many of them have had to sacrifice to give us such an amazing opportunity. God has blessed us all, and it is because of him that I am standing before you and that we are gathered here today. The faculty members have gone out of their way to teach us everything they can, and there are a few teachers who have made a particularly significant impact on my life. Although it may seem surprising to you, I seriously struggled with my summer math packet for Algebra 1 and could not for the life of me solve two-step linear equations. But Coach Murphy's Algebra 1 class rectified that problem and was the beginning for my love for mathematics at MUS. In addition, Coach Murphy showed me basic programming techniques on my calculator, without which you all would still be struggling to view your assignments on your phone. The countless hours spent in Dr. Gadwa's classroom that he graciously offered to us any time during the day or after school will not be forgotten, nor will his quarter courses in various topics consistently offered throughout the year. Matthew, William, and I owe Dr. Gadwa special thanks for his flexibility with one of the aforementioned quarter courses, letting us turn in a few assignments for it about two years late. Miss Gates' amazing energy and enthusiasm always brightens anyone's day. But I'm not sure the Environmental Conservation Club would approve of her exorbitant use of paper. <laughs> Mr. Mullins has put up with me for six straight years. Three years of Science Olympiad followed by three years of classes. And I'm very grateful for all the extra time he has spent working with me. Also, note to self, don't wait until the night before the test to do all six physics assignments due the next day. You will not have a fun time, as I'm sure many of us, myself included, are aware. Although you all know I am heavily vested in math and science, Mr. Shelton's and Mr. Thompson's rigorous instruction in grammar has been and will continue to be invaluable to me. Without it, this speech would be riddled with dangling modifiers and ambiguous pronoun references. <laughs> the entire faculty at MUS deserves our sincerest thanks. And I regret not being able to take classes with many of the teachers here. We have learned a wealth of information from the faculty, both academic and non-academic, and it will be invaluable to us as we go through college and the rest of our lives. So what's next for us? Honestly, I don't really know. The only thing I'm sure about is that we're all going to be poor college kids for at least the next four years. I was nervous about coming to MUS in the seventh grade and I'm just as nervous about leaving for college. However, I do know that we have accomplished great things at MUS, and there is nothing that will stop us from continuing to accomplish great things in college and beyond. Let's show our future classmates the value of an MUS education and of the MUS experience. Continue to pursue your passions, whether they be academics, athletics, or fine arts, and continue to excel in them. 
Thank you, and again, congratulations. We made this the best class ever. Mr. Graham, Mr. Hagwood, I present for their diplomas the senior class of 2014 who have fulfilled the requirements for graduation. William Francis Ansbro. Michael Henry Baker. James Allen Bedwell. Andrew Richard Bell. Blake Allen Bennett. <laughs> Shivam Manoj Bhakta, summa cum laude. Jacob Lawrence Birnbaum. Michael Allen Birnbaum. Leo Alden Bjorklund. Ben McCaslin Blackman, Jr. David Elihu Blankenship, Jr. Jeremy Alexander Boschwit. Cameron William Bradley.
Barry Bryant Brooks. Thornton Warren Brooksbank, Jr. Chandler Austin Brown. Bailey Hampton Buford. Francis Joseph Carlotta. Alec Manuel Carro, magna cum laude. Hayden Paul Combs, summa cum laude. Andrew Richard Counts. Lucas Fowler Crenshaw. Andrew Scott Crosby. John Martin Tully Dickin. Patrick Michael Demento, Jr. Joshua Matthew Dixon. Joshua Michael Douglas. Connor Thomas Dowling. Robert Wren Eason, magna cum laude.
Walter Calvin Edge III. Jacob Kiffin Eisler. John Rayford Estes. William Joseph Cole Eddingoff. Andrew Shell Evans. Seamus Callahan Fitzhenry, magna cum laude. Michael Sean Fitzsimmons. Andrew Sean Flaherty. Travis Philip Floyd, Jr. Sullivan Bishop Ford. Blakely Grant Fountain. Samuel Rankin Folks. Tucker Alexander Fox. Christopher Finn Galvin, magna cum laude. Matthew Garcia Galloso, summa cum laude. Justin Willingham Goldsmith. Connor Davis Goodwin. (laughs) 
Salman Inamal Huck, summa cum laude. Ambrose Dudley Harris. Hunter Reed Harrison, magna cum laude. Joshua Nathaniel Hawkins, magna cum laude. William Wittishan Hawkins. Samuel Paul Hecht. John Ronald Hinky. Richard Davis Howell the Third. Maxwell Christopher Jenkins. Albert Leland Jennings IV. Rashawn Marquise Giles. Daniel Talmadge Keel the Fourth, Magna Cum Laude. Gary Ellis Kennedy, Jr. William Priestley Lamb, summa cum laude. Bobby Lewis, Jr. Grayson Miles Lynn.
Douglas Harwell McClue. Myatt Wilson McClure. James Burkhalter Mitchum. Leshen Moodley. Johnny Bernard Moore the third William Cruz Morrison. Kyle Weston Nace. Sam Bateman Nyhart. Thomas Urell Norton. Benjamin Harold Ormseth, summa cum laude. Samuel Benjamin Ostro, magna cum laude. Norman Davis Owen, Jr. Stephen Jordan Pacheco, summa cum laude. Dennis Ray Parnell, Jr. Devin Leroy Perry. William Thomas Prater. James Porter Prather.
John Wesley Richardson. Jackson James Roberts. Christopher A. Saltiel. Nick Raul Schwartz, summa cum laude. James Edward Sexton III. Aditya Samir Shah, summa cum laude. Joseph Walker Todd Sims, magna cum laude. Malik Andrew Smith. Ronald Tate Solberg. Andrew Michael Sorensen, magna cum laude. Zachary Paul Spisak. Luke Collier Stallings. Paul Robert Stevenson. Harrison Davis Stewart. Cole Frederick Stockstill. Garrett Chion Sullivan, summa cum laude.
Austin Reed Swatsina. Frederick Thompson, Jr. Stephen William Chu. Tejvir Van Raj Vagela, magna cum laude. John Peyton Valentine. Michael Hunter Varner, Jr. Zain Muhammad Verk, summa cum laude. Blake Allen Wallace. Anthony Lewis Walton. Kenneth Ray Watson the second William Paul Wells Jr. Harrison Foster Williams, magna cum laude. Gary Kent Wonderlich the third. Chase Howell Wyatt. Seth Thomas Young. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2014 graduates of Memphis University School.
The Mark Cooper Powell Memorial Award is given in memory of Mark Cooper Powell, class of 1980, by his parents, Mr. and Mrs. Edward L. Powell, to the graduates who, through persistence and courage do, during their careers at MUS, have shown the greatest development of character and scholarship. The recipients of the Mark Cooper Powell Memorial Award for 2014 are Andrew Richard Bell and Kyle Weston Nace. The Scott Miller Rembert Senior Service Award, established by family and friends, is made in memory of Scott Miller Rembert, class of 1970. It goes to that senior who has shown the most unselfish service to the school. The 2014 Scott Miller Rembert Senior Service Award goes to William Joseph Cole Eddingoff. I'm pleased to present the Lee W. McQueen Dean's Cup for Academic Excellence. Named in 1998 in honor of the first academic dean of MUS, Lee Windsor McQueen, this award was originally donated by Mr. and Mrs. McQueen in 1967. The award is given to a graduate who, based on his academic record and his performance on both a written and an oral examination, has demonstrated a high level of academic achievement along with a marked depth of intellectual maturity and curiosity, and who in the minds of the examining committee has indicated sound intellectual attainment. The Dean's Cup for 2014 goes to Zain Mohammed Virk. The D. Eugene Thorne Award is given in memory of D. Eugene Thorne, the school headmaster from 1978 to 1992. This award is presented to those members of the senior class who best demonstrate the dignity, integrity, humility, and sincerity that characterized Mr. Thorne's years as coach, teacher, and headmaster at Memphis University School. Recipients of the 2014 D. Eugene Thorne Award are Shivan Manoj Bakta, Christopher Finn Galvin, Matthew Garcia Gayoso, William Priestley Lamb, and Stephen Jordan Pacheco.
The Ross McCain Lynn Award is given in memory of Ross McCain Lynn, the school's first headmaster, who served from 1955 to 1978. This award recognizes distinction in the areas of school citizenship, leadership, service, and character. Recipients of the Ross McCain Lynn Award for 2014 are Salman Enamel Huck, Nick Raul Schwartz, Aditya Samir Shah, Paul Robert Stevenson, and Gary Kent Wunderlich III. The Faculty Cup for General Excellence is the highest honor given to a member of the graduating class. With outstanding leadership and strength of character, the recipient of the Faculty Cup has earned the highest respect of his peers and teachers for the generous contributions of his time, talent, and energy to Memphis University School and its ideals. The 2014 Faculty Cup for General Excellence goes to Hayden Paul Combs. The John M. Nail Outstanding Teacher Award was established in 1988 in memory of John M. Nail by his former students. Mr. Nail taught English and history at MUS in the late 1950s, instilling in his students an enduring love of learning. Nominations for the John M. Nail Outstanding Teacher Award are made each year by a selection committee of student leaders from the senior class, and the recipient of the Outstanding Teacher Award is determined by a majority vote of the senior class. The following criteria are considered in the selection process. The teacher has expertise in the academic subject matter and can get that expertise across in a way that students can understand it. The teacher challenges students to excel and prepare students well for college. The teacher is demanding but fair and holds students accountable in, accountable in and out of the classroom. The teacher exhibits a willingness to help students beyond that which is expected. The teacher communicates well with students and with colleagues. The teacher has an impact on students' lives and on others, other teachers. The teacher sees the student as a person, not just as a student. The teacher supports the life of the school outside the classroom. The recipient receives a handsome salary stipend and money is made available to that recipient for professional development. This year's recipient of the John M. Nail Outstanding Teacher Award is an outstanding teacher and mentor finishing her seventh year as a faculty member at Memphis University School. She is the chair of the science department and this year teaches three sections of chemistry and one section of material science. This popular teacher has been instrumental in updating the school's emergency procedures and in training faculty and staff in CPR during summers and in-service programs in August. The John M. Nail Outstanding Teacher Award this year goes to Mrs. Annalise Sal.
Thank you, Chris, and congratulations, uh, Mrs. Sowell. We're grateful again this year to Second Presbyterian Church for allowing us to use this magnificent facility for our commencement exercise. Uh, we appreciate their wonderful hospitality each year. Immediately following the recessional, all of you, parents, grandparents, relatives, friends, faculty, the class of 2014, all of you are invited to a reception in the fellowship hall of the church, which is at the extreme west end of this complex. Winners of today's special awards will have their pictures made there with their awards, and parents and relatives of those award winners are invited to take pictures there as well. Mr. Loyal Murphy, chairman of our graduation committee, thank you and the members of your committee for your excellent work in planning and organizing today's graduation exercise and the, uh, all the activities attendant to this day. All of us owe a great debt uh, to the trustees of Memphis University School seated down front for their commitment, their wisdom, their generosity, and their faithful stewardship of this great school. Uh, they've never been more involved, more dedicated to accomplishing the mission of MUS. I especially thank Mr. Sam Graham for his devoted and gifted service to the school as chairman of the board this year. As one board member we're missing greatly uh, this year, and that's Mr. Tom Hutton, who passed away back in March of this year. Uh, we miss him, secretary of the board, for many years. We salute our faculty for their profound commitment, their excellence inside and outside the classroom, for their dedication to the boys of MUS. For another year, well done. I often say that the faculty is the heart of this school, and this faculty has a strong and healthy beat. When we mix uh, superb teachers with very able students, extraordinary results can occur. Congratulations to parents, grandparents, relatives, and friends of today's graduates. Uh, you're present today as you have been throughout their lives to provide encouragement, support, direction. And every year I say that for parents who rear boys, the days are long, but the years are short. And of course, congratulations to you, the class of 2014. You're now alumni of Memphis University School. And today, we're really celebrating our experiences together our common mission and purpose, our common hope for your future as men worthy of the talents and abilities with which God has blessed you. Uh, to whom much is given, much is expected. You've met and often exceeded that which we expected of you. And I'm thankful that we've had the opportunity to know you and to watch you as you have moved inevitably toward this day. You are, as has been previously mentioned by student speakers, you are an extraordinary group of young men. Uh, Fourteen of you were National Merit semifinalists, twelve finalists. Another ten of you received letters of commendation. We had three National Achievement semifinalists, two finalists. In summary, 26 percent of this class received recognition from the National Merit Scholarship Corporation. 60 of these young men, 55% of the class scored 30 or higher on the ACT. Five of these guys had perfect scores. While at MUS, 86 of you took 370 advanced placement examinations in 22 different subjects. 68 of you took two or more exams. You have provided leadership for the Student Council, the Honor Council, the Government Club, our Civic Service Organization, student publications, theater, studio band, beg to differ, 
and all of our athletic endeavors. You led our state championship Latin team, our state championship fencing team, our state championship golf team, our state championship lacrosse team, our state runners-up in football, swimming, and basketball. Uh, you led the teams that garnered a sixth rate Shelby County Championship in swimming, regional championships in golf and track and baseball and tennis. Of course, our baseball and tennis and track teams have a little work to do this week up in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. More good things to come, I'm sure. You were accepted to 137 different colleges and universities in 35 different states, the District of Columbia, and New Zealand. <laughs> and you have received more than 12 million $12 million in merit scholarship offers. That's academic, leadership, athletic, service academies, etc. But I think more than all these accomplishments, you have been excellent school citizens, excellent ambassadors for the school. Colonel Lynn, our first headmaster, always left graduating classes with a bit of verse put into each student's graduation diploma case. And that verse said, quote, you have each been given a bag of tools, a formless rock and a book of rules, and each must make, ere life has flown, a stumbling block or a stepping stone. I know that Colonel Lynn would envision a long pathway of stepping stones for you guys. As we bid you farewell, please know that you will always be a part of us who remain. We hope that we will always be part of you. We'd like to believe that your habits of mind, uh, your pursuit of excellence in that to which life calls you, your self-reliance, your perseverance, we'd like to believe that all of those will be informed by the intellect you sharpened at MUS, by the moral sense you quickened here, by the challenges you met here, and by the judgment you developed here. God bless you. I'd like to stand now for the MUS hymn, remain standing for the benediction, and after the benediction, we will be seated again for the recessional. Let us pray. O oh God and Father of us all, helper of those who turn to you, light of those in the dark, creator of all that is good and right, among all of your, among all of your many blessings, we are especially grateful today for MUS, this institution that has been our educational home during these formative years of our lives. Grant your blessings on the school, on the administration and faculty, and on each supporting person who helps make MUS what it is. Bless this class of 2014 as we make this important passage and prepare for new experiences. We ask that you clear the paths before us and help us to live as men of truth and honor. Grant, we pray, that we will not be content only to hear and to speak truth, but that we will behave and act as truth directs us. For then, our conduct will glorify you and help our fellow man. Teach us to look upwards, to seek out, to seek out and probe the most significant issues of life, and to follow in your path 
as we can continue our journey of life. Amen.